Okay, so hopefully you watched my earlier video on how to read this chart and how to do uh, torque calculations uh, from this chart. So what I wanted to do right now is to teach you the final column on this chart, and that is the minimum bend radius column. Um, first, I want to explain what minimum bend radius is, and then we'll come back to this chart. And like I said, I've already taught you how to use this chart with the exception of the last column. So make sure you watch my previous video on uh, how to read this chart before you can before you watch this video. But anyways, it's going to be really short because this one's just that last column. I'm going to come down to here, uh, a practice calculation. It says the minimum bend radius for a dash eight aluminum line. What this is telling us is if we bend an aluminum line and we get too tight of a bend, we could get kinks, we can get restriction of fluid flow, uh, different problems like that could happen. So what I wanted to do here is to teach you what, okay, well, how do I know what minimum bend radius is and then how do I measure that? So first we're going to figure out what is or what to, how to figure out what the minimum bend radius is. And then I'll show you down here in this illustration how you would measure that. So it says a dash eight aluminum line. So how to read this chart, you would just, all you'd have to do is you'd, you'd have to find a dash eight. Now, I, instead of using dash eight, I could have told you it was a half inch line. I could have told you it was a 0.5 inch line. A lot of ways I could have described that, but you're gonna go past the torque and go all the way to the end. Um, now I'm gonna try and uh, look away from the camera here so I can make sure I stay on the right line. So I go a dash eight, I go all the way across. Now, if the line is aluminum, the minimum bend radius is an inch and a quarter. And if the line is steel, the inches, uh, the bend radius is, is an uh, inch and three quarters. If you notice, this column is always higher than this column. There's a FAA test question about that. And the reason why is because the steel is stronger and harder and it's more apt to uh, damage when it's uh, being bent at a sharper rate. So the, the bend radius is always going to be more, more grade or so that, that way the bend stays more gradual. It's not as sharp as a bend. So to answer this question, it would be very simple. The answer would be, you know, I take the dash eight, I come all the way across, and the, and the answer would be an inch and a quarter. But let's uh, explain what that means. So what that means is if I was to take this bend here and I measured from the center here to any point center line on that tube, I cannot be less than the minimum bend radius would be an inch and a quarter. I can be greater than that, which would make this bend less sharp, but I can't be any tighter than that. So if I bent this more in or tighter, then I would have exceeded the minimum bend radius. So I just wanted to make sure I had covered that because there's a couple of questions about minimum bend radius. Like I said, it's a pretty short video because you already know how to use a chart. Just be sure if you haven't watched the video on the torque chart that you read that or, or sorry, watch that first so you understand this video also. But anyways, thank you guys. Uh, wash those hands, stay safe.